good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so you see the title of this video man this was the first time i've ever been hacked in any form of fashion man uh yesterday uh i got hacked uh on instagram and i'm not gonna lie to you uh it was a, a horrible experience man I, I i never thought it would happen to me especially in that fashion but hey it did so i kind of want to break down what happened and how it happened maybe early in the afternoon uh, i received a dm from one of uh, my subscribers or whatnot and this person was basically um trying to help me uh get verified on instagram and the only reason why i kind of responded to this person is because one me and this person have had a few conversations in the dms before actually talking about it uh, i actually went on live a few months back trying to you know figure out how to get verified if anyone knew or whatnot and he had uh, sent me like an article an instagram article on some of the qualifications you need to get verified on instagram so we had that conversation a few months back so he hit me up recently in the dms basically saying hey um my brother uh that i've known for a while well not well i get yeah he said his brother but i i assume like as like a, a friend brother like you call someone like a brother of yours but they're more like a friend you know so he was basically like my brother um just got on that instagram or whatnot he can help you out with that just you know dm him and uh you know see what he's talking about and my dm the guy i'm thinking it's kind of like how you see people be like if you send me 200 300 or whatever i can get your Insta instagram account verified you know kind of those type of scams so i'm thinking that's what it was but the dude was talking to me you know what i'm saying he was real slick with it in the dms he was basically like look you need to have publications of you and whoever you're trying to get verified you know what i'm saying we can do it you know i can do it for you for free all i just need is if you guys give me a shout out or whatever you know what i'm saying you can send me some clients you know what i'm saying then we can kind of go from there and we'll just do it like that i was like all right cool all right maybe you know i can look into it or whatever like sure like, why not you feel me because i was like i'm not paying to get verified so dude was like all right you know send me the article that you guys you know uh some type of press article that you guys had so i sent that and then he sent you know he's like all i need is your email address so i get his give i send the article that me and the homies got published in in the houston chronicle and then i send my email address and then he says there should it should be a code like a link well not a link but an actual code that's gonna come to your email address you just tell me what that code is so a code comes to my email address i tell him what it is and he's like, all right it's, it's gonna sign you out or whatnot and after that then you know saying you should you should be able to sign back in in a few minutes or whatever and i knew at that point i'm like i don't know something's iffy about that but i was like, all right you know see what happens so when i got signed out shout out to trill billy brandon he hits me up he texts me first and then he calls me basically it was a message from me asking if you know what i'm saying he could uh if brandon could send me some money or whatnot to the paypal or whatever like i was in like some dire need of some money or whatever so i knew right right away something wasn't right because he hit me up about it and i'm not in my account at this point i'm signed out so i'm like yeah i probably just got hacked at this point i'm thinking yeah i definitely just got hacked or whatever so brandon's like yo did you send this message to me i was like no i didn't send the message to you uh, I don't know what's going on, so I got off the phone with him. I hit old dude up because I ended up getting the guy's number. He gave me his number so we can discuss things or whatever. And, you know, I'm trying to make sure this stuff is legit, so I got his number or whatever. And I hit the dude up, like, bro, what the fuck's going on? You know what I'm saying? You know, that's you and my account messaging, you know what I'm saying, somebody else. He didn't know that, you know what I'm saying, the people that he was messaging would actually hit me up first he you know what i'm saying message to do he message brandon brandon hits me up then i sit up there questioning him he's like i don't know what's going on i'm confused so 
at this point i figured you know yeah i'm hacked i'm like bro you took my shit yo give me my account back or whatever and he was like look bro i'm not even gonna lie to you you know what i'm saying uh i will give you your account back you know what i'm saying but the guy that set sent me to hack you or whatnot he's not responding back to my phone calls or whatever so basically he made it seem as the subscriber that originally hit me up sent him to hack me or whatnot to get my information or whatever so at that point i was i was believing him at first because i was like damn that's kind of fucked up like why would a subscriber do that like i was upset he was like yeah the dude said he would pay me 300 for it or whatever but he's not sending me uh the money or whatnot so i'm pretty much screwed too but i'm gonna get him for show or whatever i was like look bro i'll pay you the money and that was my biggest mistake right there but i'll pay you the money just, I just trying to get my shit back and I'll handle up on him because I was going to expose that dude. I'm like, bro, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? I thought you was, the, you know, somebody that could rock with me, you know, on the subscriber side of things. Like you support all the stuff that I do and then you do this. I'm like, damn, that's kind of scummy or whatever. So at this point, it's literally and uh, I, I do think this is a blessing from above because it's literally him trying to get money from me and also he's messaging like people that i've recently dm for money as well and obviously i'm not in my account so i don't know you feel me so at this point i'm like yo you know what i'm saying look i can send you the money yada 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 or whatever tried uh venmo and i was able to send uh like the 300 but the problem was they couldn't get the money out so they end up giving me the Venmo account. I'm on the phone with this person. They end up giving me the Venmo account. I still couldn't transfer the money. Something was fishy going on or whatever. Then we tried PayPal. So I end up sending some more money or whatnot. I end up sending some more money uh, just to just to get get my account back. Cause I was like, well, I have the Venmo account so I can easily just figure out how to get the money out of there the bank my bank knew something wasn't right about this so when i sent the money to the paypal it went through but here's the thing they couldn't get the money out it, it, it for whatever reason they were having a hard time getting the actual money so um at this point i'm like yo i did my part bro just give me the code so i can get back into my account because if you guys don't know uh instagram gives you uh an opportunity to have like a uh, a two-way authorization setup where it'll send um the email that you have associated with your instagram account it'll send you a link if you forget forget your password but once you get that link um it'll also send you a code to your personal phone number so that way you can get back into your account here's the problem he changed the the number that's what he did he changed the phone number so anytime the codes was being sent it was being sent to his number not mine so that's why i was still unable to get inside my own account so at this point i'm like yo i sent the money bro just send me send me the uh the, the code bro and every time he's giving me a run around and at this point i figured out I'm like bro he's not gonna send me this code even if i give him the money even if he's able to get the money out He's not going to send me the code. Like, this is really just a waste of my time. So, I hit up my manager. And you're probably wondering why you didn't hit up your manager first. Well, I did. But he was pretty much like, there's not really going to be much I can do. Everything's kind of closed on a Sunday. So, we'll, we'll try to figure out something on Monday morning or, you know, Monday during the day. And I was like, all right. So, I end up hitting him back again. Pretty much telling him, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back. Um, if you have any other solutions, you know, that'd be real helpful. So he was able to send me like this article from Instagram. So I'm checking all the articles to see how to recover my account. I've tried everything except this one specific thing. And shout out to um, our manager, man. He, he's real dope. He definitely came in the clutch on this one, pun intended. Um, so apparently Facebook has this thing where you literally they'll send you an email and they'll send you a random number. You have to write that number on a piece of paper and take a picture with that number on the piece of paper. And they sent it to me twice to, you know, double check to make sure everything checks out. 
and they gave me like a unique eight digit number that I was able to put in that he didn't have access to and I was able to get in my account switch all the information kick him out of my account and that's how I was able to get in and I thought that was pretty unique because it's kind of hard to fake your face and the random number on the piece of paper so i thought that was dope so shout out to uh facebook being able to help me out get that situated so once i was able to get back into my account or whatever i saw the messages of people he was uh hitting up uh he hit up uh one of my homies is sir dance a lot y'all know who he is he hit him up and shout out to sir dance a lot man he sent me some money he sent me some money on venmo but like i was saying to y'all I had the Venmo account because they couldn't get the money out of the Venmo. And then he also sent some money to the Cash App. He sent total $200 um, because basically he messaged him as if I needed some help or something. And, you know, Steve being a stand-up guy, Sir Dancing I being a stand-up guy, he was just helping me out or whatever. So the problem was he wasn't able to get the money from Venmo, but they did get the money from cash app but once i let them know he was able to dispute that and he was able to get his money back from cash app so that's a win uh one of somebody else that i know out you know like when i be out and about i don't know him like i don't have his number but he supports the channel supports what i do he sent me 150 told him about it he was able to hit up cash app they was able to refund the money so that's another w there and then other people were hitting me up before they sent the money like yo what was up with that and i had to let them know i got hacked so no one else that i know of so far actually sent him money and the people that did send them money they were able to get their money back so shout out to everyone that uh you know that was trying to send me money i really do appreciate that even though it wasn't me and i take those small little victories as a a huge dub because they didn't get anyone else from my account they weren't able to scam anybody else out of some money so i feel really good about that um i had to ultimately call my bank um and try to dispute those charges because it was pretty much i pretty much uh i guess you could say my account was held for ransom like that's pretty much what it was like if you guys know like not too long ago one of the major oil pipelines was held for ransom by a group of like russian hackers they hacked the pipeline and they basically wanted like two million or something like that it's probably a little bit more in bitcoin or whatnot and uh, the oil company paid it you know what i'm saying they had to pay it because pretty much all these other cities on the east coast didn't really have gasoline or whatnot so that's pretty much what it was they held my account for ransom and even though they gave it back to you know they gave control back to the, the oil company uh this guy was not gonna give the, my password back or whatnot and i i knew after a while he was just giving me a runaround and the dude had the audacity to text me because i my I had the dude's number because I'm contacting him. I'm on the phone with the guy or whatever. He had the audacity to text me, you're welcome, as if he helped me. No, I, I had to help myself. He's a piece of shit. You're definitely a piece of shit. And I know who you are. Not personally, but I have your information. I'm sure he'll probably be able to change his phone number. And he doesn't really care about that Instagram account because he can just make a new one. But he's still a piece of hot garbage. And karma will get you, bro, one day. You're scamming people out of their monies. You're taking their accounts. Like, that's not what's up. And one of the biggest things that I realized after I was able to get my account is the person that the subscriber that hit me up he got hacked so he was messaging me under the disguise as one of the subscribers i'm thinking it's like originally my you know someone that you know one of the subscribers just trying to help me out or whatever and it was really the hacker just using his account and that's what he does he takes people's accounts use them and then hits up like goes through their dms and messages people that he sees that have re recently been messaged by you to try to get them some money off of them so i will say this to anybody out there be careful even if you know it's like a friend of yours messaging you on instagram on some hey can you can you help me out and it's like it's one of those type of things where it's like well why they didn't call you know what i'm saying give them a call if they're like one of your good friends give them a call ask them hey did you send this message just so you can double confirm or whatnot because people 
or really getting creative with their hacks i didn't even have to give this guy my password i didn't have to click on a link or nothing he literally was able to get my account just off my email so i'm in the process of getting everything situated with my bank hopefully i'm able to get those funds back if not that's just gonna be a loss that i take but i am changing my card number and all that other stuff but i'm just happy that the people that he did hit up was able to get their money back and or they didn't give out any money so uh, that's what i mostly cared about more than anything else and i'm glad i have my account back so that's the main reason why i haven't checked out nxt in your house i haven't checked it out yet because once this all got situated i was tired i was frustrated and irritated and I, I wasn't in the mood to watch wrestling or anything like that but i will be checking out at least the fatal five-way match so please don't spoil it for me in the comment section down below i'm gonna check that out because i want to see what happened in that match so yeah that's what's been going on man but uh yeah so your boy finally got hacked not that it was on my bucket list but it's one of those things where it's like it was unfortunate but um i'm glad i was able to recover my account in a few hours and um hopefully that guy that did hack me um karma gets this individual and he ultimately has to pay for the people he scammed and taken taking their money from you know what i'm saying like people like that you may think you're gonna always get away but trust me karma is real and it will definitely come back and bite you and it may be worse than just you know you know jail time it may be something serious like you may end up losing all your money you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm gonna leave it in god's hands i'm not even gonna stress over it but that's what happened man so comment down below let me know if you guys have ever been hacked before uh i posted this uh on my uh instagram feed and a lot of you guys were saying you actually have been hacked like even recently so comment down below let me know if you guys have ever been in that situation where someone hacked your account whether it's facebook instagram twitter or you know just hacked a, a, a website account that you have you know set up comment down below let me know but i appreciate all the love and support road to 50k appreciate y'all kicking in with me i'll see y'all on the next one peace